been a while since I posted a video on to my channel and I do apologize for that. But the reason that I haven't been posting a video is that I've been pretty deep into a project that I have been working on. Now that project is a Windows application uh, program and that program is to bring overlay capabilities to scopes that don't have overlay capabilities. So if you would take the hand tech, it, people just starting out, well, there's not very much help with like, uh, like I put it, in cylinder pressures or anything like that. So I decided to go ahead and m design a program that would help people with scopes of that caliber that don't actually have any type of uh, overlay capabilities. So the program I've been working on is called the pressure, an uh, pressure analysis program. So without talking too much, uh, I thought that we go ahead and just dive into the program and I'll show you guys what the program is all about. So the first thing that I'm going to do is that I'm just going to come over here to the start button. I'm going to click on the start button. I already have the program installed onto this PC. So it's called the 720 overlay uh, program because that's what I named the project. Um, Cause that was the original name of the project. So after everything loads up, this is what you get. You get a screen and it has uh, some buttons on the side and those buttons will lead you to different things. Now, like I said, I designed this program in order to help with a uh, waveform analysis of in cylinder, exhaust, intake, and crankcase. Okay. Cause uh, I found that there was a lacking in the field and of available uh, programs out there in order to help everybody out that actually has a scope without spending fortunes on scopes that actually have everything built in. So we're going to get started. And the first thing we're going to look at is the legend. Now the legend is just going to tell you what a 720 degree information is that the first area is power exhaust intake compression. The, uh, the piston is moving down on the power. The piston is moving up on the exhaust. The piston is moving down on the intake and the piston is obviously moving up on compression. Now each little increment inside of the, uh, this overlay is equal to 11.25 degrees. So if we come over from here and we come all the way over to this uh, area right here, we're at 45, this yellow mark right here is gonna be 90 and so on. So that's basically just to show you guys what the 720 degree information is. Now, after that, I also included a cylinder event overlay into this program. Now the cylinder event overlay is labeled as such. The pink is your power. The brown, brownish gray is your exhaust. The blue is your intake and the yellow is your compression. So, and that is it for the legend. So what we're gonna do there is that we are gonna close that. Now, after that, the next area that I want to show you guys was this reference area. Now the image quality is not great because of the way that the, the program is configured and I'm not a programmer, so I do apologize for that, but it was the best that I could get it with the skills that I do have in programming. So when you click on the, if you come over here after you click on the reference waveform uh, button, what you're going to get is a window like this. And if you cr uh, click on the crankcase pressure, you'll get a waveform that shows what the crankcase pressure waveform should look like. Okay. If you go on in cylinder, you'll get an in cylinder waveform intake pressure. Same thing. You'll get what an intake pulse uh, should look like. Uh, I got to hand it to Pico scope for this one because they have like a, a zoom capability in built inside the scope for, and it is great for intake. Uh, the hotel obviously doesn't have that, but, uh, and I'm not too sure about the air scopes on the market, but, um, Pico did a really good, good job for that. And it really does help out for intake, uh, waveform analysis, but this is what you should look, it should look like. Now, after that, we press on the exhaust and this is what your exhaust should look like. Now I'm not going to get into how to diagnose the, these waveforms. Um, I just, put this up here and I'm going to keep this screen uh, not visible, but I'm just going to minimize it because we're going to be coming back to this one afterwards. So after that, we'll come down here, we'll click on the main pressure, the, uh, the pressure analysis. And now we're going to start getting into the 
gist of the program and then I'm going to show you guys another feature of the reference waveform uh, uh, area of this program also. So we're going to start by the 720 overlay. Now this is an overlay I designed to be uh, transparent and the reason I made it transparent is so that you can actually open up any waveform and actually get the, the degrees in between let's just say your cam, your crank, or uh, valve lift, valve duration, or when a valve is supposed to open compared to where it is opening. And that's information you're gonna have to find out on yourself by working in the field. But this little window will help you do that. So I'm just give you guys a quick example. Um, if I come over and I'll bring up the in cylinder. If we take the overlay, we'll put the overlay right there. We'll take this one, we'll bring it over here. And there it gives us our 720 degrees of rotation. So as it's set up right here, you could take and you can see that this is your 720 degrees of rotation. And you can use this to verify where your uh, exhaust valve opens, uh, where your intake valve opens. You could see the, the amount of degrees. So this one is roughly about uh, 34 degrees uh, before bottom dead center. Now, the way that this works is that this is top dead center. This is bottom dead center. This is top dead center. This is bottom dead center. And then we start back over at top dead center. So uh, you could use this to quickly verify on how many degrees maybe that an exhaust valve might be off, an intake valve, valve might be off. Uh, you can use it to mark your, your cylinders. Uh, so you can use this to find out if your valves might be opening a little bit too early or a little bit too late, or if there might be something else going on inside of the that that specific cylinder. So that is what the 720 degree overlay is going to be typically used for. Now you don't have to only use it on to um, in cylinder. You can use the 720 overlay on to any area of the. Uh, of waveform analysis okay but it's going to be typically used for in cylinder so now when we go over to uh intake and exhaust that's where the cylinder events uh is going to be coming in now i call them cylinder events uh other people might call it something else but typically it's going to be a cylinder event so what we're going to do we're just going to go on to our intake pressure and i'm going to actually no, we'll go to the exhaust make it a little bit easier so this is a four cylinder engine uh the way that you can tell it's four cylinder engine is that uh this is my ignition uh ignition sink and this is an ignition sink and as you can see they repeat now in between each ignition sink you have uh four waveforms that are being produced so depending on the firing order like this one's one three four two so this would be number one because i'm synced on number one three four, two. So that's when this little guy comes up. Now this guy is completely expandable also. Uh, it's supposed to be completely expandable. Uh, there it is. Okay. So what you do with him is that you would set him up in between your, sorry about that, this area. So you would take and you would set him up in between your areas. Now, I'm going to have to make an adjustment to this before I send it out because we can't grab it afterwards. But that's a fine tuning. So uh, then you would take and you would set this guy up in between. Now, this bar right here, what this bar does is that it actually takes and it makes it transparent for you. So you can actually take and see what is going on. Now, as you can tell, this is the uh, exhaust uh, pressure waveform. So if we come over... We have 720 degrees of rotation. We are on cylinder number one. And that's what these boxes are for also. These boxes right here. Okay. What you're supposed to do is just take and move them down. And then you would take and mark your firing order. And whatever cylinder you're synced on. One, three, four, and two. Okay. So that was my, that's my firing order. So let's just bring this back now. And we'll set him back up. And as you can tell, if I'm synced on number one, so this is my power stroke. This would be my exhaust stroke. And as you can see, my exhaust stroke is right here. 
then my intake stroke would happen over here, then my uh, compression stroke would happen over here. And that's how you would basically use this. Now this would be, uh, is very useful to determine which cylinder might be causing uh, a misfire onto the engine. Uh, you could go and you can also see if maybe you have a valve issue or anything like that, a valve seating issue, and uh, you would be able to see it uh, with this. So yeah, I'm gonna have to fix that. And that is what the uh, the similar event uh, overlay charts uh, do. Now, after that, we have the cylinder sink. Now, this one I created just more for usefulness. Uh, it's going to be more like a show and tell, but at the same time, you could generate boxes. So if you need four, you generate four. You can put them on wherever your cylinders are. Okay, so one, three, four, and two. And then that way you would be able to see which cylinder might be giving you an issue. Now, let's say that you're doing a YouTube video or you want to take and you want to just uh, show people uh, a wiring diagram and you don't want to take and save that wiring diagram and bring it into paint or anything like that. That's where this comes, this part of the application actually comes in. You can use it to verify your sink for your cylinders. You could do a couple of little other things. You can use this in conjunction with, uh, let's just say, let's bring this up 720. Okay. You could use this in conjunction with the 720 also. Okay. And then we just set it up and we could see where our cylinder events happen compared to uh, the other events in the cylinder. And we could see maybe if the exhaust valve might be off or something like that and how many degrees it might be off. Now, where was it going? So basically, if you come over here and you take and you click on any one of these colors, you will generate that color onto the form. And that could be very useful when you're trying to show somebody something or trying to explain some, something to somebody. Um, and then if you press the clear button, everything gets uh, taken off. And if you don't want to clear everything, you only want to keep a, keep a portion, just click on the generate, grab a box, and erase the area that you don't want. Okay. Now. That is it for the reference wave, uh, not the reference waveform, the cylinder sync uh, portion of the application. So we'll take and we'll exit that. Now, this is a little area that I thought was very important to, to put in. And I'm going to give you guys an example. Uh, we'll just go to Google real quick. Uh, we will take a different one. I'll click on this. Got to get one. That's a little bit bigger. Here, we'll save that one on desktop. And we'll save it as three. We'll upload. That was not showing. Oh, I didn't put PNG. I'm gonna have to fix that. Yeah, I'm gonna have to fix, uh, make sure that you guys are able to open PNGs with it. So that'll be two things that I have to fix uh, that I didn't actually realize. Um, so let's go get a different one. This one's a JPEG. See how if it's clear or not. It's pretty clear. Save image. And it's a JPEG and it's saved to the desktop. We'll go back. Figure one. And as you can see, depending on the size, you will get a nice clear picture onto it. So let's just say that you took and you were using your scope, you saved a a picture onto your computer and now you want to bring it in but you want to bring it into a separate folder um, or you're working on something and you want to make like a database well this program will let you create that database so if you upload any photo you can take and you can save that photo to anywhere onto the computer we'll just right click we'll go new we'll go folder we'll go google waveform and then we'll go open and then we'll call this one 
Google waveform 2. And then we'll click Save. Now, after all that's done, we'll come down. You'll see that we have a folder down here called Google Waveform. And in that, we have the folder. The, the photo, I should say. And your photo will show up as so. Now, after that, that concludes pretty much what the application is uh, capable of doing. Like I said, there's a few little things that I have to that to fix. So one is put PNG into the system, and there was an issue with the cylinder sink, if I'm not mistaken. No, uh, with the cylinder event, cylinder number three. Yeah, it was that. But typically, you're not going to be bringing your your wave uh, your cylinder event chart that small. Typically, you're going to be more like bringing it out and having your scope zoomed in and then bringing this out over it. And then so, but at the same time, I think I'm just going to take off the uh, where it says cylinder three events. And that way it will give more area and actually be able to move stuff around. Because as you could tell, everything just disappears. So I'm going to fix that. And I will put PNGs into the uh, into the save part of the for the photos. That way, you guys can uh, bring stuff into Paint if you want and transfer it over to a PNG and then load it up and save it to a folder. I think that that would be the best. But that's it for this program. Um, now I'll put in some. Uh, some importances into this. This uh, program is not free. Uh, it took me quite a while, like I said, because I am not a programmer in order to create this program. Uh, this program will be on sale for $20. Uh, I will put my PayPal information into the link in this video. And also I will put a link to my Facebook where you guys can also uh, pay for it from there. Um, I will be doing a giveaway I will be giving away 10 of these programs uh, for free. Uh, all you guys have to do is in the, video uh, in the video comments of this video, just go ahead and mark pressure analysis and tell me why you would want this in a brief uh, comment. And I will take and I will uh, give away 10 of these by the end of the week. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys next time.